Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And it is a sky of great promise, great possibility. But there is one thing, and that is Neptune. It is Neptune now that this month is going to be super active, creating all kinds of confusion, all kinds of uncertainty. And the key really is to do your best, to stay grounded, to stay focused on the practical. And you connect with Neptune for the inspiration. Connect with Neptune to awaken your imagination, but make sure you're using it well. Because with Neptune, it becomes very easy to go to a space where your own fears can color what it is that you believe is possible for you. So this is where you wanna be a little bit careful, but for all that, we have got a truly inspired month for you. And what makes it so special, what makes it so inspired is the full moon in your sign and the new moon in your opposite sign. So I'm gonna start with the full moon actually, which is happening right around the 18th of the month. Now you wanna give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. This full moon is your full moon. You get one per year and this is it. But what is also happening under the same sky is that we are going to have Neptune. And Neptune at this point will be standing still in the sky a couple of days later, is gonna officially go retrograde making Neptunian energy that much more concentrated, that much more magnified for us all. And this presents you with an interesting moment. This presents you with an interesting opportunity. How much is it that you are going to tap into and trust what matters to you most, what matters to you first, what you really want to do, what your heart is inspiring you to do? And how much is it that you are going to allow your own fear to be part of what holds you back? Now, of course, we all have moments of feeling vulnerable. It is the most natural thing for us to feel that way. But you are at your very best when you are able to put that aside and be in the moment and enjoy yourself to understand that life is meant to be an adventure. And if you can cultivate that spirit, especially actively, and especially with a month like this, you'll be able to tap into this energy for its very best promise. You'll be able to tap into this energy that much more to your advantage. So we have this incredible full moon and it has a promise to it. It is making a promise to you. And it is saying, trust your heart, what is real, what isn't, allow yourself to feel it all. Know what it is that you are ready to bring closure to and bless it, but also know who it is that you are beyond the fear, beyond the illusions. Connect with that sense of fiery confidence that is you at your very best. Now, for some of you, this moment is gonna come about through a circumstance that is uh, near and dear to your heart. It could be a professional circumstance or otherwise. But for others, it may show up where it comes to matters of love and partnership. Now, when we just look at it from a perspective of partnership, it's our one-on-one -on -one alliances that are being highlighted here. And there's nothing quite like getting to know another person, allowing ourselves to be known by another person that can get us in touch with what it is that we are really wanting in so many areas of life, but including on a level of heart as well. And so chances are in a big signature of this month is that another person is going to be part of what serves as the catalyst for these deeper and more meaningful changes that are set to take place. And that is because of all the energy happening in your opposite sign. Right around the third of the month, we've got a new moon here. Right around the eighth of the month, Venus moves in here. As you start the month, the sun is already here in your opposite sign. 
And all of these placements are also going to be speaking with Neptune one by one by one. And as they speak with Neptune, it is your own fear, your own uncertainty, your own heightened expectations that you're not sure are reasonable, but maybe they really are reasonable. Your own sense of, of expectation, wondering where it is and why it is it's being met or not being met. These are going to be part of the explorations for you now, but it isn't isolated to just a moment. It's only going to come to the forefront this month with that new moon, which kicks off the lunar month for you. And so we have this very powerful energy this week that is saying that you have the ability to trust yourself enough to know what you feel, to know that you will be okay regardless of what happens between you and another person. But at the same time, you are willing to let happen what needs to happen. So yes, in business alliances, business partnerships, this is going to be a changeable time, a time when you're learning a lot and tapping into your own sense of what it is that you are needing from this bond. For some of you, this will strengthen the bond that much more for others, not so much. For others, it may feel like a time of understanding healthy closures for others still needing to face what it is that your hopes are and where they're reasonable and where they're not. But of course, for a lot of us out there, it is going to play out in the context of love. Even if you're someone who's sworn off love and doesn't think it's for you, you may be among the most surprised this month. But there will be changes and there will be you looking at where you are in love and why and how you really feel about it. Getting to the truth of it so that you can ultimately align yourself with greater love than you've known before. And it all starts with that new moon. So if you're open to meeting someone new with a month like this, chances are there is going to be someone who presents themselves so that you can understand where you are in love and why, what your own hopes are in love where it is that you're wanting love to sweep you off your feet, perhaps uncharacteristically so, and where it is that you are ready for a more grounded and real approach where it comes to matters of love. For those of you who are just dating someone, just getting to know someone, you know, again, I come back to this idea of your own expectations, your heightened expectations, but at the same time, there's something to consider here, and that is, disappointment that can happen with this energy and it is a part of love i really believe it is part of our willingness to love it means that we're going to have moments where we feel that someone didn't live up to what we had hoped or someone didn't match what it was that we had expected it is a part of the journey towards greater love and sometimes it's you it's your own expectations that you have to look at but sometimes it's not about you Sometimes it's about understanding more deeply, healing more deeply that particular connection or understanding that this is who this person is. And look, with a month like this, mixed messages become very, very possible. And sometimes those mixed messages, again, sometimes it's you, you saying one thing, but actually wanting something else. But sometimes it is that other person intentionally giving out mixed messages. That's something you're going to have to watch out for. For those of you who are in an established bond, what a powerful time it is for you as well. A time of change, a time of evolution. For some of you, this time ultimately will bring you that much closer where you look at what has been working, what hasn't been working and become more resolved to live more practically, to be more honest with each other, more straightforward with each other and to actually communicate and express where it was that some expectations maybe were not reasonable and where maybe you thought they were. But for others of you, this can be a time of realizing what is really going on and what you really feel about it and how it is that you have felt that your partner has not been straightforward with you. See, sometimes with this energy, it's not intentional. It's us seeing what we want to see, but sometimes it is intentional. And I'm so sorry to say that, but it does happen where if we feel that our partner has not been honest with us, well, that is going to come to the surface at this time. And that 
coming to the surface, that need to look at it is ultimately doing so, so that we can be more honest about the relationship that we're in and where it is that we want and expect and hope to go from here. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be Venus moving into your opposite sign. I know that I made a really big deal about Neptune and yes, that is an important energy, but Venus ultimately moving into your opposite sign is a blessing. It means that people want to align with you. They want to be facilitators of blessings in your life and they certainly can be. Allow yourself to enjoy the company of others, to share your journey as you go through it. You're gonna find not only a tremendous amount of support, but genuine blessings as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.